Can't miss that. Good. I've just realized you've been joined by a lot of participants. I, I hope you uh, enjoyed uh, the brief song of welcome that I gave you. Uh, there'll be many songs uh, uh, throughout the weekend, but perhaps more typically held in our, in our social sessions. Um, I think I might be blushing slightly. Anyway, uh, hello to all of you and thank you very much for coming to Hack From Home. Um, this is our second hackathon uh, that we've run here at DataSwift um, and we've been very much looking forward to it as we organize it for you over the last couple of months. Um, it's going to be a pretty cool event. We've arranged a, a large and action-packed schedule for you. First things first, first, just to introduce the event itself overall. So uh, the event will take place a little bit over tonight, but mainly over Saturday and Sunday. It is a weekend long hackathon with 48 hours of formal competition. It is run by us, DataSwift, who are a deep tech company operating out of Cambridge uh, here in England. Uh, what we do is offer a infrastructure for the uh, private ownership of personal data by individuals. And we work with companies to create an internet where people are empowered with their individual data ownership. Hackathons for us uh, are really exciting and interesting tool of collective intelligence, uh, a great way of facilitating ideas uh, and exchange of, um, of ideas to tr really try and work out how we can solve issues that we see around us. We did this very successfully last year at the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic with Hack From Home One, as we now call it, uh, where we had several hundred participants come together, throw around ideas for how to create privacy preserving applications uh, that could you know, help, help fight the disease. And out of it, you know, came a lot of great results. We had three uh, applications come out of it and six academic papers. So hoping to replicate a little bit of that success this time with our global, remote, not-for-profit, uh, green energy and decarbonization hackathon. So what are the purposes of, of what we're doing? Why are we here for the event? So the first is that emphasis on green energy. So in case you guys didn't pick it up from uh, all our marketing materials and the, the various frantic messages that we send over Slack and over email and what, what have you, this is an event that's exploring how personal data, the data of individuals, can be used to help in decarbonization. Now, there are many elements to the, to the energy transition and many elements to decarbonization. But what's quite clear is that in order to achieve the world's net zero goals, in order to actually uh, transition to this new energy system and really minimizing our carbon emissions, we need to drive a whole range of behavioral changes uh, on the part of the wider population. This could be, well, a whole range of things. It could be using less power. It could be using smarter power. It could be using... Uh, more resources, more green energy, storing it better with new battery technologies. It could be uh, individual behaviors such as eating less meat. All of these behavioral changes, we believe, uh, will be more efficiently driven if we have the data collected uh, on what individuals are doing. So we can then target interventions for themselves uh, and as, as, as communities and as businesses to help people get the results they need. So that's really what we're trying to do here, is to explore those behavior changes and how personal data enables them. Now, secondly, you know, here in DataSwift, as earlier flagged, we're very, very keen on individual ownership of data. You know, we provide an infrastructure, something called personal data accounts, that enables individuals to legally own and control their data. So what we're keen to explore here is how does decentralized ownership of data really turbocharge uh, those behavioral changes in personal decarbonization that we want to see. So that's another thing we're exploring. That which brought us together um, in creating this event is something called the Eastern New Energy Project. The Eastern New Energy Project is a ERDF uh, funded project, which DataSwift is participating in, that looks at how uh, decarbonization can be promoted. Specifically, it looks at the barriers and levers of decarbonization in Eastern England, hence uh, the the name of the project is Eastern New Energy. So one of the things I really want to flag here is that all of the insights that you guys generate uh, as you have your, your hacktivity, as we like to call it um, in the team, awful word, but you know, we stuck with it. Um, <laughs> um, all of the insights that you have in that, the projects you create, 
the learnings that you have and that we have uh, for observing and participating alongside you. All of that will contribute to this effort within the Eastern New Energy Project uh, and trying to identify how to promote decarbonisation, both in Eastern England and then as we take those lessons elsewhere around the world. So, you know, it's, it's important and valuable work um, and I think exciting. Now, we have a range of themes for the uh, event. The first is citizen empowerment. You know, this comes down to the idea of individuals owning their personal data and being empowered to learn more about themselves, to contribute their data to researchers and to businesses and other systems that might want to use it. This matches very well with uh, a trend in the energy sector that we see is called energy prosumership. We'll be having some very interesting talks on that tomorrow on the expert stage, about which more in a moment. We have um, community decarbonization. So that's using you know, these collective mechanisms of personal data sharing and analysis to help communities, you know, local neighborhoods, local energy communities, you know, neighborhood level, municipal level, city level, you name it, help them come together with personal data analysis to drive positive change. And so we'll be looking at various mechanisms and patterns and ideas through the weekend that facilitate that, both as project ideas and on the expert stage. And the second, the third even, as I already said too, the third is market formation. You know, so we have all these ideas around uh, the value of decentralized, individually owned personal data, around the need to drive positive change uh, with decarbonization. But we need to get the incentives in place to actually make that grow. In DataSwift, you know, we're always very keen and interested to learn about how the market can do that. You know, government regulation is important and we always support the right regulation. But a lot of powerful incentives get driven by the market. So how can we make it profitable for companies and for uh, organizations, local councils, local governments, to want to put these um, mechanisms of sharing data and driving change in place? So that's another thing that we'll definitely be looking at throughout the weekend. So I've mentioned a lot of various portions of the weekend, but I'd like to make a quick note uh, on the overall format. The first is uh, that, you know, it's, we have this introductory session this evening, but the, the, the weekend proper is the two days of uh, the weekend. So it's Saturday and Sunday, 48 hours. Now, the whole thing is a competition, as you guys may have picked up from the, the various materials that we sent out. So uh, from tonight and, you know, the first parts tomorrow morning, we'll be doing team formation, helping people get into their teams, work out the respective skills that everyone has, and um, then assigning mentors that will help those teams best you know work out what projects they have as part of team formation we also you know naturally they need to be assigned to the projects you guys have been submitting project ideas on the ideas portal so we're going through that at the moment and making sure we're all on the right teams now when you get into those teams we lay on a whole agenda uh, designed to help you get your idea work out what the, the problem is work out what solution is going to be and you know make it into an interesting level of thinking uh, of the space of the weekend so we have uh, various seminars on how best to create it um, and tips on you know, your ultimate submission for the competition. At the end of the weekend, you will have been expected to uh, work upon your presentation and we'll be you know, sending around uh, various tips on this, uh, both the assessment criteria and you know, the submission you need to have. At the end of the weekend, there will be a Dragon's Den uh, where you can show your presentations to one another and to our, our resident dragon, uh, Professor Irene. Then at the end of the weekend, you'll submit your project. And that will then go to the judging panel uh, at 12 a.m., well, 11.59 uh, p.m. On, on Saturday night is the deadline. That's then picked up by the judging panel, who will then spend a week assessing your contributions, will judge it according to the assessment criteria, and will then come back with the prize which is uh, a prize of 5,000 pounds, worth 5,000 pounds. So that's the core of the competition. Dave, um, and of Dave, course- You did say Saturday night there, just it's Sunday. Did I say Saturday night? I did, my, my humble apologies. Thank you, thank you, Teresa, for picking that up. It's not Saturday night, it's Sunday night. <laughs> Let me be very clear on that. Thanks for, thanks for uh, the correction. Um, so in terms of other elements around that, so we have the competition, we have the uh, resourcing and help we'll give you to realize your ideas for the competition. The other um, great thing we have is the expert stage. So, you know, I mentioned at the beginning of this talk that we are a deep tech company. 
We uh, spun out of academic research at the University of Cambridge and University of Warwick. As a result, our academic heritage and our, our educational ethos is very dear to us. You know, in organizing this event, as of everything we do, we really want to inspire people um, about the opportunities of what we call the data economy 2.0, a world of decentralized personal data ownership and the new markets and new systems this will call into being. So what we have alongside our hackathon content is something we call the expert stage, where we bring together a series of leaders, some academic, some uh, practitioners from the energy sector, to talk about the opportunities of personal data in energy and within decarbonization more generally. So alongside the hackathon content, there will be this expert stage. Something I'd emphasize, you know, I'd urge you all to come and participate and, and to listen to the really excellent talks. They'll, if you can't join them, they'll also be recorded for you to listen to later. Something I do emphasize is, you know, this is voluntary. You guys can spend the entire time working on your ideas, but perhaps elements of your teams might want to come in and out. It's, it's laid on for your benefit and is there if you want it. The third element of the event is that this is team lead led. led. You know, alongside our ethos of decentralization, uh, we're here to help you and to facilitate you. But the way that it will work is that you guys will work within your teams uh, to have your idea and the team leads will help facilitate and form these. The team leads will be the primary point of contact uh, with us and we'll be giving team leads information as the, as the weekend progresses and they will then disseminate it down to the teams um, within your, your Slack channels. Um, however, of course, if you have any, any questions, uh, any problems, uh, any you know, funny gifs that you want to send us, please do feel free to, to message it to any one of us on the organizing group. You can all tell on Slack uh, because we have organizer next to our name. That leads me to a note on uh, the tooling that we used. So uh, it will not have escaped your attention that Zoom is important to us, if only because we are currently having this call on Zoom. Um, all of the talks and seminars that we have will be conducted over Zoom, just like this. The rest of the events will take place over Slack. And as you can see, we've been splitting you all into Slack groups. Um, there's a mixture of public Slack groups, such as General uh, and DevTalk for the developers. Um, and then there's your private Slack groups where you'll be there, uh, you know, having your, having your activity um, over the space of the weekend and we'll be dropping in and out. As teams, you're welcome to use whatever tool of communication you want. Uh, we suggest Zoom and Slack because it's there, but you know, if you want to speak over WhatsApp or whatever other mechanism, that's also fine. You know, so long as you know, you're able to, to chat to us and feel comfortable and supported, that's the main thing. Um, so in terms of other things, uh, well, yeah, so this was all on the agenda and uh, we have, sorry, I've mentioned this action-packed weekend. We have an agenda that uh, you can refer to. So we'll be showing this agenda, showing the event agenda in general after this talk. Please keep on looking at it at a regular basis if we make any changes. Um, we have a range of other links and resources um, that will be coming in and which we'll be sharing with you over general. So I'd, I'd really advise you to keep an eye on the general channel uh, and all the other groups because we'll be in constant communication uh, with you through it all. So that uh, I think really sums up the introduction of the event. Um, I think it's going to be enormous fun. Uh, I think we're going to learn a lot about, you know, the use cases of, of personal data and decarbonization, how to make sure that we can manage that personal data in a secure and, and ethical way that preserves the freedom of the individuals. The main thing I want to say is, you know, just make sure you have fun. The idea is for this to be a, a really exciting weekend um, where we can get to know some new technology, uh, get to know how we can drive positive change and just have fun meeting the very, very diverse group of people that we have from all the way around the world uh, who'll be your fellow teammates. So, yeah, pleasure to have you with us. Um, Teresa, is there anything else you'd say at this point? No, that sounds great. Um, just that join us again in 40 minutes for some welcome drinks. Um, at the moment, everyone is kind of turned off um, their camera and the microphone, but um, at 8 p.m. in 40 minutes, we'll um, all join together and have a drink and turn our cameras off and talk to each other. <laughs> so. Okay. Great. And I, and I promise I won't welcome you with any nursery rhymes this time. Very good. Well, thank you very much, everyone. And uh, see you soon. Thank All you. right. Thanks, guys. I will uh, leave the call, shall I? Yes. <laughs>